check one, two, one, two. This is actually the second one I did. I made it a lot shorter because I don't want to jam a ton of uh, wire in between my uh, helmet pads. So shorter the better. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick explanation video and I soldered up the new microphone. It's actually what I've been using on the previous videos in more recent years here. Um, it, was it was pretty cheap to get. It mounts in the helmet effortlessly because it's so it's flat and it's Velcro. So it's perfect. I actually have two in there. I have my Senna 20S microphone and the same microphone that I wired up as you saw in two the GoPro and or the Osmo Action. So I think it's a cool setup. It's not bulky. I shortened all the wires so there's very little to have to shove in your helmet. So it worked out for me. Um, if you guys want to try it, I will link everything that I use below, including the mount. I have a GT Air Shoei helmet and I got a 3D printed chin mount on Amazon. I'll show you that link too and also a 3D printed GoPro offset so it moves the lens right in the center of the chin. That's basic, I've been using that ever since I started this channel. So right after this, I'm going to test the Osmo because I haven't actually motovlogged with the Osmo. Uh, the GoPro 7 is my favorite for all of this, except for the giant brick. As anyone knows that motovlogs or anything, this thing sucks for $50. The Osmo setup was quite a bit cheaper, I think, the little aftermarket deal. Um, I'll leave all those links in the description of all the parts I've used. But one downfall to the Osmo is when Rocksteady's on, HDR and all those things, 2.7K, that's generally what I do so I could punch in if I wanted to. Uh, that is not as wide as the GoPro 7 gets. So I'm going to test it out right after this and I'll see what you guys think but I won't be able to get as much sky and my like gauge cluster I'll have to kind of decide what's more important depending on the video I guess so let me know what you guys think all right this is the first test with the Osmo action and the uh, Senna microphone I uh, rigged up Visor is down, and we'll see how it sounds to you guys. And let's just try putting the visor up. That is a difference with the visor up. Doing about 40. This always sounded pretty good on the GoPro 7. It's just I hate that brick like I told you a minute ago. Taking off. Nice loft there, that was cool. So yeah, I had to stop the editing right now, make this quick video the next day here to point out that the gain is way too high on the Osmo and there's no adjustment as of yet through firmware. So I ordered a volume adapter and that'll be in this week. Hopefully that'll fix it. If not, I'm gonna have to go back to the GoPro and this stupid thing. 
That's not a bad thing, really. It's just bulky. So we'll see what happens. On my next video, I'll mention it, whether I'm back to the GoPro or the DJI, depending on how that audio works. Um, but right now, it's unusable. It's just too much, and it clips, like, instantly, especially with the revving of the engine and me just talking so close to the microphone. I know it's not the microphone's fault, because I've used the same setup on the GoPro for, like, the last year on all my videos, so that's not the issue. So I felt it important to stop this video real quick and just say that I'm not going to continue the way that is. So in future videos, I'll let you guys know. Well, let's get back to the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Hit that bell notification. And until next time, I will see you guys later.